And in today's video, guys, I'm about to show you all of the best methods which your favorite Fortnite posts like Asian Jeff, Peter Board, or many more use in order to get zero input delay in Fortnite Chapter 5. I'm not only going to show you what you can all play on your PC, but actually also your hardware in order to get way less input delay. So therefore, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, guys. And also make sure to join discord.gg slash stripes, guys, if you need any more help. It's a Discord server with over 125,000 members. If you have some questions, always feel free to ask them in there. And in the first place now, guys, I'm going to talk about multiple factors, how you can actually get less input delay on your mouse and keyboard setup here in Fortnite Chapter 5. What I want to talk about guys in the first place is something very interesting a lot of people probably don't know. If you own as an example a Logitech mouse, it by the way also applies for other brands, your mouse is gonna have a low battery mode which activates at around 30% so therefore if your wireless gaming mouse actually isn't charged it's gonna go into this low battery mode resulting in higher input delay when it comes down to editing in Fortnite. So many people are complaining from time to time that they actually feel like they have a lot of additional input delay while playing creative or ranked or whatever you guys want to play in game and most of the times it's actually due to the fact that maybe your mouse is right now on this low battery mode so therefore always make sure in the first place as the first tip that your mouse is always charged over 30 percent it's quite easy to figure out all you got to do of course guys is only open up the software of your mouse of course for me it's right now razer synapse since i'm using the razer dev at a v3 pro and you can see my mouse right now here is actually set to 97 percent so therefore i should have no additional delay and now for the secondary step guys i want to show you that you of course have to set up your mouse and keyboard combination the right way me as mentioned since it is a razor mouse guys i'm gonna go here now into performance and you can see that my pulling rate is set to a thousand hertz guys there's a huge difference between 125 and a thousand hertz i'm gonna put it right now here on screen guys you can see that it's almost a difference of seven or eight milliseconds which is insanely high considering that it's just pulling rate on your mouse so therefore if you have this set standard to something like 500 or you're gonna have additional milliseconds of more input delay which is crazy so therefore always make sure to utilize the highest hertz possible the same by the way also applies for your keyboard guys i'm right now here in the steel series GG hub and you can see for my Apex Pro Mini I can actually put my current actuation point all the way down to 0.1 millimeters which is of course a lot faster than utilizing something like 1 millimeter or 1.5 which is actually mostly common on a lot of mechanical gaming keyboards so therefore if you have a Wooting 60HE, Apex Pro Mini or the brand new Razer Huntsman V3 TKL you definitely should put your actuation point down to the lowest possible. What's actually also another proven point is guys that if you utilize RGB on your gaming keyboard it doesn't matter which mode guys just RGB in general you actually gonna have a lot more input delay when it comes down to gaming. This is also why you see most of your favorite Fortnite pros actually having their RGB completely turned off because all of these modes which are right here available on the keyboard, let's just say the SteelSeries Apex Pro Mini, are gonna give you additional delay because the small processor unit in your keyboard has to of course also calculate all of the RGB effect and really depending on how complex they are of course it's gonna result in more or less input delay because all of these effects here, these lightning effects, have to get calculated in the background. So therefore make sure to turn it off if you can guys of course your keyboard is not gonna look as flashy and fancy anymore you really only care about input delay next up guys i'm about to leak how actually fortnite pros make their game super smooth i think you all noticed by now that when you spectate asian jeff or some other pros the game actually looks a little bit less lower quality than on the performance mode or actually available in fortnite and i'm quite sure you all guys know the potato mode which i just reviewed a couple of days back guys you can basically make your game look super bad in order to boost your fps what i'm about to say now is guys that there's actually a mode where you actually put your graphics a tiny bit lower than the lowest possible settings in Fortnite directly and all you need for it is the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. I already made a whole entire preset for you to just apply into this tool guys and you already have it enabled. The advantages are of course that everything is going to be super low quality and especially textures and objects will still look a little bit less quality than the lowest preset in game but your resolution is still going to stay on 1080p or super sharp better said 100% and that is as well the advantage why pros actually use this profile instead of actually lowering their 3D settings. But I'm about to show you exactly how to apply this. So guys and all you need in order to actually apply this NVIDIA Profile which is gonna give you this super low graphics mode is the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. You can find it on my official website, guys. Link to it in description, also on discord.gg slash stripes. And also on the website, guys, you're gonna find this zero delay profile. And this is exactly already now here the profile with all of the best settings which you gotta have here for Fortnite already pre-installed, already pre-applied for you. So all you guys gotta do is import the profile. All you get it in the first place is search up Fortnite here on the top bar guys. Just to make sure that it's actually selected here and it should say then Fortnite client Windows 64 shipping accent should be green and should also be showcased here entirely green on the top bar. And then you can see guys, I actually already pre-applied here a few very specific settings which are gonna give you this low graphics mode. Your game is just gonna get rendered with a super low detail quality but your resolution is still gonna stay super sharp on 1080p. And that's exactly why this profile is so insane and all you guys gotta do is click here on this top bar onto import user defined profiles, click under import profile 
profiles and then select the zero delay one. Just simply click on the OK and everything is now already here imported and fully applied and all you gotta do is click on apply changes. If you wanna swap back to how Fortnite look normally guys, that's also super easy. Here on the top, you actually have a restore current profile to Nvidia default setting. Just simply click onto it guys and everything is gonna get reset. Then click on apply changes again and you're good to go. And what I wanna mention next up guys is also super important when it actually comes down to input delay on mouse and keyboard. We all know on the backside of your PC, you have a ton of USB ports. Now what you wanna make sure is guys that you only use those which are important for you. So therefore your mouse, keyboard, maybe a mic or something like that. And that should be it. The less USB ports you actually have, the less complicated it is for your PC to basically process all of the input, which is gonna result in lower input delay. If you're all of the USB ports on the backside of your PC that's actually going to cause additional latency. So therefore what you want to make sure is the only utilize let's say the USB 3.0 port for your mouse, keyboard and mic as mentioned and for the rest make sure that you unplug everything which is not necessary. I see people will plug in maybe a lamp into their PC or like some additional add-ons for their setup you know some lights or stuff like that. Don't do that. Guys. Only focus on what you actually need for competitive and that should be it. Nothing else should be plugged into the backside of your PC into these ports and just simply try to keep the number of inputs as low as possible. And if you guys ever wonder how I get such low ping in Fortnite, it's actually because I use the GR Booster, which you can by the way try it for absolutely free with the link in the description. Even Mero, the FNCS winner, is using it, and it's basically making sure that you have the least amount of ping in Fortnite. You can see, guys, right now I only have 9 milliseconds of latency, which is insanely low, and already an improvement of 64%. What this tool basically does in the background, it has this adaptive intelligent routing, which is going to search actively even while playing for the best DNS server in your near, ensuring that you have the least amount of latency. GR Booster even gave me a bunch of codes to give away guys so therefore just send me a dm over on discord that you have this tool installed and i'm giving it away to random people next up guys we're now also going to be utilizing a tool which is going to be called filter key setter and this one is amazing to reduce the input delay on your keyboard even more you can by the way get the whole entire file on discord.gg slash the stripes and just simply go into the search bar and type on that filter until you can find filter keys and settings from there you can get it guys by the way there's a normal warning on any discord whenever you're trying to share files so therefore don't worry about it and once you get it from the Discord, this is how it should look like. We're going to open up filter keys in the first place and you can see we have a bunch of settings in here, but as well actually a settings sheet in the file itself. Well, what I want you to do is open up basically the tool on the left side and on the right side the settings and then you're gonna copy all of the following ones. Ignore under zero milliseconds, repeat delay you're gonna put to 150 milliseconds, repeat rate to 25, and on the right side, you're gonna make sure that only on and available are actually checked. Now to make sure to save this to your registry so it's actually applied 24 seven on your PC, you have to click here when applied to save to registry. Then you're gonna click on apply and now your keyboard is gonna be a lot faster guys. And you can basically spam keys more frequently on your keyboard without additional delay, which is gonna give you a huge advantage, especially in Fortnite. 